In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the sum of the numbers in a list in Python without using the built-in sum function. So for example, if we have a list with the numbers from one to 10, we'll have here list is equal to, and we'll have a list with the numbers from one to 10. We can find the sum of the list by using the built-in sum function. So we could have here list sum is equal to sum and we'll pass the sum function the list. The sum function is going to return the sum of the numbers in this list. We could output list sum to see the sum. We'll have here print and then list sum colon and we'll output list sum. And if we save the program and run it, we'll get that list sum is 55 and that is correct. Now without using the built-in sum function, we can also manually calculate the sum of the numbers in this list. What we'll do is create a variable called manual sum, and we'll initialize it to zero. Then what we'll do is loop through each element in the list, and we'll add it to manual sum. Then by the end of that loop, manual sum will contain the sum of all the elements in the list. So here we'll have our loop we'll have for number in list. So this for loop is going to run for each number in this list. And each time it does, number is going to be set to that number in the list. Then in the loop body, we'll add that number to manual sum. We'll have manual sum plus equals that number. That means by the end of the loop, manual sum is going to contain the sum of all the numbers in the list. We could then output manual sum. So we'll have here print and then manual sum and we'll output manual sum. And if we save our program and try it out, we get that manual sum is 55. Now we could also implement our own sum function to calculate the sum of the numbers in a list. We'll do that. We'll have here def and we'll call this function underscore sum. The function is going to accept as an argument a list to sum. So we'll call the parameter list to sum. Then in the function body, we'll implement the same algorithm as above. We'll create a variable called sum of list and we'll initialize it to zero. Then we'll loop through each number in the list. We'll have for number in list to sum and we'll add to sum of list that number in the list. Then when the loop is done, we'll return the sum of the list. We'll have here return sum of list. And this algorithm here is exactly the same as this algorithm here. We'll then call this function. So down here we'll have function sum and we'll assign it the value returned by sum when it's past our list. We'll then output function sum. We'll have print and function sum, and we'll output function sum. And we can save our program and try it out. And we get that function sum is 55, which is correct. So this is how we can find the sum of the numbers in a list in Python without using the built-in sum function. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.